Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to focus on our shoulders and our abs. We've got two groups of exercises. The first is going to be all shoulders and the second is going to be all abs. So I've got a set of five pound dumbbells here. We are going to be moving almost the whole time, so I suggest not using something that is too heavy. Our work intervals are 45 seconds. Our rest intervals are a short 15 seconds. In between the shoulder and the ab set, you will get a two minute break. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo the shoulder exercises for you guys. So I'm gonna turn my weight slightly out with my palms facing forward and I'm going to raise up like I'm making the letter Y, bring it down, and then right back up. Our next one is going to be an alternating punch. So bring them up to chest height, punch one out just to the level of your chin, come back and do the other side. The next one is going to be a salute. So I'll turn to the side so you can see me. You're gonna bring the base of the weights semi together. I do have some space in between mine. You're going to bend your knees, keep your core tight, start at your forehead, push it forward, draw the weights back together, and push them forward again. The next exercise, we're going to do an alternating front to side raise. So one weight goes forward, the other goes to the side, and then you go to the other side of your body and keep switching. After that, we've got 90 degree flies. So I'm going to have my elbows at 90. I'm going to open up nice and wide and bring it forward. And I'll turn so you can see me again. Bring your elbows together. Lastly, we've got a 90 degree lateral raise or some people call them chicken wings. So you're going to keep your elbows bent, bring them up, back down, up and back down. So we're gonna run through all of those exercises two times and we will get started in 10 seconds. So Y raises are first. We're gonna get started in three, two and one. All right, go ahead and lift and lower. Bring them right back down to the front of your thighs. Make sure you use your breath. I like to inhale on my way down, exhale on my way up. And we are moving slow. We are feeling the burn. Our main goal here is to keep moving and build some heat for our muscles. You've got 10 seconds left, finish it strong. Three, two, and one. All right, short 15 seconds to rest. We are going to go in to an alternating punch next. So bring those weights about chest height, get ready, draw your core in. I'll turn a little bit so you can see me, and we are going to punch it out. Notice, I am still moving slow here. We are building strength, so we don't need to go fast. We wanna be nice and consistent with our pace. Keep your core tight. Try not to shift too much through the lower body. So you might wanna squeeze your glutes a little bit to give your torso some added stability. And we've got about 12 seconds left. Keep punching, no higher than your chin. Three, two, and one. All right, 15 seconds to rest. Breathe, you can do some shoulder rolling. We are going into salutes. So this is the one where we keep the base of the weights together, bring it to your forehead, push it straight out, and in. You can have your knees apart like mine, or it might be more comfortable to have them together. And just keep pushing. Squeeze your arms as you push those weights up and forward. Keep your gaze outward. Core in, you've got 20 seconds left. That's it guys, this one is hard. Three, 
seconds. One more. All right, come on down. Very good. Woo! We're going into those alternating front to side raises next. So you're gonna start with the weights at your side, palm facing your body. One arm goes forward, the other goes out, and you switch. Use that exhale as you bring the weights up. Inhale as you bring them down. Again, try to stay strong through your torso. You might want to squeeze your glutes, squeeze your legs to get added stability, but we really want to target only the shoulders here. We've got 10 seconds left. Very good. Three, two, and one. All right, good. Woo, two more exercises until we finish the first round. So, you're going to bring your elbows up to 90 degrees, okay? And you're going to open, bring your elbows together, and back open. Now, we don't want to let our elbows drop here. If you can, try to keep them up. I know after everything we've done, it's super hard. If you have to drop your arms for a second, you may but go right back to it. We want to try to keep moving the whole time. This is really building up your muscle endurance here. So not only is it great for strengthening and toning, it is also great for your endurance. We've got about five seconds left. Bring them out wide, back together, hold, and come down. Very nice. All right, we've got one more exercise before we finish round one. We've got our 90 degree lateral raise. So you're gonna start with your elbows at 90, the weights together, bring them up to the side and back down. I like to think leading with my elbows here. So I want my elbows to reach the final position before the weights do. Lead with your elbows. Try to bring them shoulder height every time. This is definitely an exercise that would not need to be very heavy. We've got about 10 seconds left. Can you do it? <sighs> Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, very, very good. We're gonna take a little bit of a break here. We've got 40 to 45 seconds to recover before we start round two. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some water. Shake your arms out, roll your shoulders. Do a forward stretch, do a forward fold, whatever feels good. We're gonna pick it up again in about 15 seconds. So very short rest here. All right, we're gonna get ready for those Y raises in about five seconds. All right, draw your core in, keep your feet strong, slight bend in your knees, and we lift, and we lower. Breathe them up, exhale. Inhale them down. Very good. Twenty seconds left. This one is probably the easiest one for me, but after twenty seconds of straight work, I definitely feel it. We've got about seven seconds left. Let's see if we can raise it up a couple more times. Three, two, and one. All right, bring it on down. We're going in for our alternating punches next. All right, so bring them up chest tight. Punch one out at a time, no higher than your chin. 
Remember, no twisting through the lower body. Zip up your core, squeeze your glutes, keep your legs strong. It's all shoulders here. Twenty seconds left, guys. Good, ten seconds. Stay nice and strong. Squeeze everything. Three, two, one. All right. Very good. Salutes are next. So I'm going to put my knees together for this one. Zip up your core. Slight bend in your knees. Base of the weights together. And you're going to push from your forehead all the way up. Good. Get a little pause when you have your arms straight. Really, really feel that squeeze. You'll even feel this in your triceps, the back of your arms. Very good. Woo, this is definitely one of the harder ones for me. 15 seconds, keep moving guys. Push. Good. Five seconds. Woo, one more. All right. Oh, very good. We've got alternating front to side raise. Get ready. Pick an arm. Send one forward, one sideways. Back and forth you go. Try not to swing the weights up. We always want to protect our lower back, so we never want to use it as assistance. It's all shoulders. That's it, guys. Keep going. You got less than 20 seconds left. When it gets hard, focus on your breath. Use your exhale as you bring those weights up. And we got three, two, and one. Ah, all right, very good. All right, two more exercises and then we get to take a long break. 90 degree flies. So, elbows up to 90. See if you can hold them up. I'm gonna do the best I can. I have my knees together here. Drawing your core in. This is another one where I like to think about leading with my elbows. Exhale them forward. Inhale them back. Ah, try to keep your elbows up. Try not to let them drop. Although it feels good. Keep going. Really, really strong through your core. We got 10 seconds left. See what you can do, guys. Three, two, and one. All right, very good. Last one is our 90 degree lateral raise, AKA chicken wings. All right, so you're gonna bring those weights forward, elbows at 90. And lead with your elbows on the way up, shoulder height, right back down. The bend in the elbows never changes. It is staying constant the entire time. This exercise is solely coming from our shoulder joint and all the muscles around it. Good, lead with those elbows. Let the elbows reach the final position here before anything else. 15 seconds, ah, keep moving. Eight seconds. Five, three, two, one. All right, very good. You can go ahead and put those down. We are on our two minutes to rest. So get a drink. And I will show you the core exercises. 
So you may need one or both weights, so don't get rid of them totally. But we are going to be down on our back. So we've got flutter kicks. I'm gonna suggest putting your hands like a diamond, placing them under your lower back for support because you don't wanna have any arch in your lower back here, okay? So you're gonna bring your feet down any amount to where you can keep your spine pressed against the floor. So for some it may be very low, for others it may be up a little bit higher, just as long as your spine is not lifting off the mat and we are just going to flutter, flutter, flutter. Okay, the next exercise, we've got a dumbbell crunch. So I'll just show you with one, feel free to hold both depending on how heavy they are. You're just going to put the weight right above your chest and push it up to the ceiling, bring it down and right back up. All right, the next one is a scissor kick. So again, with the diamond shape in your hands, right under your lower back, okay? Same thing goes. Legs are gonna be any height where your spine can stay pressed against the mat and you're just going to scissor them on top of each other back and forth. All right, the next one we're going to do is a heel tap. So you're going to keep your feet on the floor, you're going to reach side to side, try to reach forward as far as you can. Try to think maybe one day you'll be able to reach your toes. The next one we're gonna go into a windshield wiper. So I'm gonna go on my back so you guys can see me. All right, so you're gonna wanna have your feet up, your elbows can be out or down supporting you, whatever is the most comfortable. And you're gonna send your knees one way, back to center, other way, back to center. Make sure you stop at the center point every single time. And the last exercise is a cross body plank. So you're going to do hands right under your shoulders and you're gonna start with your feet hip distance, send it under your body, get a little bit of a twist, see if you can touch knee to elbow and back and forth we go. All right, so we are going to get started in about 10 seconds. All right, so down on your back. Bring this close so I can see the timer. Get that diamond shape under your bum and pick a spot where your back is not lifting off the mat at all. Engage your core and flutter those feet. Keep breathing. If you feel your back coming off the mat, Raise your legs up higher so you no longer feel that. We've got 15 seconds left here, guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep drawing your core in as tight as you can. Five, two, and one. All right, very good. Dumbbell crunch is next. So take one or two dumbbells, or you don't have to use anything here. Dumbbell right over your chest. Keep some space between your neck and your chest, and you're gonna think about sending the weight straight up to the ceiling. Hold, and come on down. Exhale on your way up. Inhale on your way down. Good, very good guys. Fifteen seconds left. Ah, you guys got it. If you start out with the weight and it's just too much, go ahead and drop it down, okay? Otherwise, finish it strong. Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and put that weight off to the side. Stay where you are. We're going to do our scissor kicks. So diamond shape right underneath your lower back. Press your spine into the floor wherever your legs need to be to make that happen. And you are just going to scissor over top of each other. Back and forth we go the whole time. Draw your core in super, super tight, belly button to spine. 
try to control these scissor kicks. So you don't wanna just let your legs go everywhere. Try to engage your legs, engage your glutes, keep everything strong and keep them tight. 12 seconds, I'm trying to check the timer for you guys. Three, two, and one. All right, very nice. Oh, all right, we've got heel taps. So again, stay where you are. Keep your knees bent, your feet are planted on the ground. Draw your core in, lift up your head, and side to side you go. Trying to one day think maybe your fingertips will touch your toes. Guys, if your neck is starting to get sore, you can go ahead and come out of it for a second, arrest it, and then go right back in, okay? The way that you can kind of prevent that is by mentally creating space between your chin and your chest. Believe it or not, that will help you to relax those neck muscles. A lot of our muscle comes from our mind, so there's a lot of mind to muscle connections happening. Three, two, and one. All right, very good. Now you will have to switch your position. We're gonna go into windshield wipers, okay? So I'm gonna just turn so you can see me a little bit better, but you can stay where you are. The elbows can support you, palms can be flat. Either way, you're gonna send your knees out to one side, bring it back to center, and to the other side. Your goal is to not let your whole entire bum come off the mat. That's where the work of your obliques come in. So you wanna keep your bum pressed against the mat and just go side to side with a pause in the middle. Back and forth you go. We've got 20 seconds. If you don't feel this one, squeeze your core harder. Use your inhales, use your exhales. Hold it a little bit longer when you get out to the side. Bring it in, three, two, and one. All right, very good. Now we're gonna come onto our hands into a high plank position, okay? And we have got our cross body planks. So palms right under the shoulders, squeeze everything. Think elbow and knee touching. You are gonna shift here, you are gonna twist. And that is A-OK. -okay. Again, with these last two exercises, we're working a lot of obliques. So the way we work them is by twisting. Use your exhale as you cross that leg under your body. 15 seconds left. 10. Nice and slow. Five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, very good. Round one is done. We got round two to go. But you get 45 seconds to rest. So get a drink. Sit up super straight. If it feels okay on your back, you can do a gentle back bend. Try to stretch out your core. Twenty seconds left of our little mini break here. How are your shoulders feeling, by the way? Mine definitely feel like I worked them. All right, ten seconds. We're gonna go into the last set here. Flutter kicks to start. Hands under your bum. All right, push your spine into the mat. Squeeze everything. Try to make these very controlled kicks. Okay. Now, if you cannot keep going the whole time, that is okay. Drop down for a second, reset your spine, and go right back to it. Eight seconds. Five, four, 
four, three, two, and one. All right, very good. Dumbbell crunch, grab one dumbbell or two, right above the chest, space between your chin and your chest, send it up. If your neck really needs a break here, go ahead and create a basket with your hands and do the same concept, but make sure you don't kink the neck too much. All right, we always want to protect our cervical area. Good. Think drawing your core as tight as possible every time you lift the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. We got 15 seconds left. That's it guys, very good. One more, all right, come on down. Put that weight off to the side. We're going into our scissor kicks. So hands are gonna go right under your bum again. Make sure that spine can stay flat. And nice, tight, controlled scissor kicks. Nothing is moving here besides your legs. So we're not doing any shifting through our torso. We're not doing any rocking. It's only our legs. Our abs, their primary job is to stabilize our body. So that's exactly what they're doing here. So we wanna train them in the best way that we can. 10 seconds. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, keep going. Use your inhales, use your exhales. It's almost over. Three, two, and one. All right, very good. Stay where you are. We've got heel taps, so knees will stay bent. Feet are gonna stay planted. Nice long neck, all right? And you're gonna think fingertips to toes one day. Use your obliques here. Try to keep your movement very, very fluid. So if that means not reaching so far, that's okay. Remember to keep a long neck. We've got 15 seconds left. Good job, guys. Five seconds, three, two, and one, all right, very good. We're going into our windshield wipers. So again, I'm going to turn so you can see me. Use your elbows as support, use your palms as support, tighten your core. Remember, not a whole lot of shifting. We don't want your whole booty to come off the floor. Try to keep your feet and your knees touching one another. Hold. Back to center, other side, back to center. All while dropping your belly button downward towards the mat, really pull it in. Breathing, twisting, moving right through this workout. We've got eight seconds left here. Three, two, and one. All right, very nice, guys. Flip over. You've only got one more exercise left, and then you're done. All right, so palms right under the shoulders. We're working our obliques again, so get that twist in. See if you can touch knee to elbow. Good, draw it in, make it touch. This is your last exercise, guys. Are your abs on fire? 20 seconds left. Good, keep twisting. Stay strong through your shoulders. I know that they've had a lot of work today. Five seconds. 
Ah, you have time for one more twist. Hold, hold, hold. All right, very good. Come on down. All right. So that was your shoulder and core blast workout. I hope that you felt some good muscles burning. I hope you feel strong and empowered. And I will see you in the next workout.